Yeah, this is part. Um, this is the um going back into the 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 lesson. Um, got disconnected earlier. Uh, title is you women will get judged for not having a husband. So yeah, so she got so how the order is set up. That's why I says that, that she should she should be saved in childbearing. Let's tell you about that in the um. I believe, I know it's in the book in the Testament. Let me get there real quick. Where it says she should be saved in child marriage. And that's going to Genesis 3, verse 16, that her desire should be that towards her husband. Meaning that even though, because remember, remember, Sarah had a hedge even though she wasn't pregnant at that time. Because why? She desired Abraham. You feel so it's gonna be some women who can't have kids that's still gonna make it to the kingdom of heaven. We're not saying that. What we're saying, we're talking about the corporate woman who have no desire towards her husband. Or even thinking about getting a man. That's the woman we're talking about. The westernized woman. This is Timothy chapter 2 verse 15. Nevertheless, she should be saved in childbearing if they continue in faith and charity and holiness with sobriety. Meaning that they continue to keep that commandment. Because Genesis chapter 3 verse 16. Um, I keep going there because that was the one of the first really the major commandments after Eve committed that great sin that... that the Most High really went into details on the woman obeying that law. Your desire should be that towards your husband, and he should rule over thee. That was the commandment. That's not him asking you. That's him telling you to do this. You know what I mean? Because the Most High is not dealing with the woman directly. He's not even dealing with the man directly. We have to have we have to have a cover, which is Yahweh Shah Mashiach. Y'all don't realize the Most High is a consuming fire. For all y'all women thinking all oh, the most high dealing with me and all that, man, you insane. You you don't understand the mighty magnitude of the power of the Heavenly Father. We have to have a cover. You know? But they look at us crazy, man. So what do we know? That's how they look at us. But yeah, let me get ready to wrap it up here. Um, this is 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 3. I'm ready to close it out here. But I will have you know, this is, the, this is the divine order. So if you women don't want to fall in line, you will not be in the kingdom. But I will, ha but I will have you know that the head of every man is Yahweh Shah. That's our cover. You, we can't even pray directly to the Most High. If you read, I believe in the book of Isaiah, the Most High turned his back on Israel. Because we broke his commandments and we, we transgressed his law. So the only way we have any connection is through his son. That's the only way we can even have any prayers to the Heavenly Father is through your house shop. If you try to, and if any man out there thinking he can go right to the Heavenly Father, you also is going off. But I will have you know that the head of every man is Yahweh Shah Mashiach, and the head of the woman is the man, and the head of Yahweh Shah is Yahweh. So that's the divine order. If you women don't want to get in line, you're going to get judged. Like the title of the lesson, you women will get judged for not having a husband. I want to give all honor, praise, and glory to the Most High Yahweh. Also, the true hope, like Most High, the King of Kings, Royal to Himself, Yahweh Shah, Mashiach. Also, the final Father, the truth, out of one west. This is Father Kings coming right back at you yet with another lesson. Shalom, one, repent, Israel, return back to these commandments. And women, you have to get in line because you guys is the balance of the nation. You know? So if you guys don't want to get in line, you will, will get judged. Um, all praise on to the Most High Yahweh. Also, the true hope, like Most High, the King of Kings, Royal to Himself, Yahweh Shah, Mashiach. Also, the final, final, truth, out of one West. Shalom, Israel.